How do we start our serverless journey? The first thing to mention is serverless is not an easy ride. This is a new way of building software. The constraints that we are used to, the limitations that we are used to are different with serverless. Some of those go away, some of them are brand new and are not obvious. And so there are gotchas that you're going to come across as you start using serverless. And some of those have been documented now. Serverless is three, four years old, especially in the functions as a service part. And we're starting to see that documented, but there's no like one book that I can point you at and say, go read this before you do anything. And so you've got to be aware of some of these concerns. As you start using serverless, the other thing to think about is that this is an iterative approach. There's not, probably not going to be just one experiment that you do to see whether you like serverless or not. And if it fails, then you're not, never going to touch it again. The great thing about serverless is you can try things out very quickly and very cheaply. And that means that we can iterate. And so what is this iteration structure? Well, first of all, you need to pick a project. What is something you want to try solving uh, with serverless? And once you've picked that project, you can then prepare, learn what it is that you're going to do to solve that. You can actually build that thing. And then finally, and very importantly, evaluate it. How did that work? Did it do what you expected it to do? And then finally, repeat. Go back to the beginning and pick a new project. And that's really what I want to focus on in the remainder of this talk. How do we pick a project that is going to help us introduce serverless to our organization? <clears throat> So as you're picking a project, you need to think about sort of three com competing goals or competing actions here. The first one is that you want to gain benefits. You actually want to get some value from serverless. This is not an ivory tower um, resume-driven development idea. This is something that we want to do to try and help our companies. And so actually picking a project that is going to move our company forward is important. But also important is learning. Um, and there are a lot, there's a lot to learn here. First of all, what is serverless in our company? What are all these different services that we can use? How do those services interact with the existing applications that we've built? What, what do our teams like about it? Maybe they don't want to use serverless right now. Maybe they're super happy uh, using a container-based approach. And finally, there's safety. Um, and, and there's a number of aspects here to safety, but the, the one I'm, I'm concerned about here when people are starting to use serverless is how do, we main, how do we maintain integrity of our production systems? So as you're picking a project, um, you need to decide, are you going to dip your toe in the water? Or are you going to dive down the rabbit hole and, and go swimming in the serverless ocean? And the good news is, because this is an iterative approach, you can make this decision once and then repeat. 